government shutdown goes into effect, two generals are relieved, and female Marines complete the first week of infantry training. All of that coming up next on The Core Report. Welcome to The Core Report. I'm Lance Corporal Allie Byswinger. And I'm Lance Corporal Clayton Filipovich. As you probably already know, the government shutdown went into effect October 1st. While many civilian government employees are temporarily furloughed, military personnel will continue to perform their regular duties with pay. President Barack Obama released a statement following the shutdown, ensuring the success of America's military. I'm going to make sure you stay the greatest military in the world, bar none. That's what I'm fighting for. That's what you and your families deserve. For more information, read the story link below or check out maradmin 512 13. Following an investigation, Commandant of the Marine Corps General James Amos is forcing two generals to retire for their failure to prevent a fatal security breach during the 2012 Camp Bastion attack. Two Marines lost their lives, eight personnel were wounded, and six aircraft were destroyed. The investigation found that Major General Charles Garganis and Major General Greg Sturdivant didn't take the necessary steps to protect against an external attack. General Amos said, Commandership is a sacred responsibility and the standard for general officers is necessarily high. In their duty to protect our forces, these two generals did not meet that standard. Last week we announced that the first group of 15 female Marines began infantry training at Camp Geiger, North Carolina. As promised, we sent a team to follow the training. During the first week, the Marines completed a combat fitness test, a physical fitness test, a high intensity tactical training assessment, and a 5K hike. All students are held to the same infantry training battalion standard, which has not changed. By training day five, one male and two female Marines had been dropped from the cycle for failures. Since the first half of the infantry course is similar to the Marine combat training all non-infantry Marines must complete, instructors expect an increase in drops across the board in the second half of the course. We will be sending you a team to give the updates during this time. Remember, you can catch up on everything else going on in the Corps by logging on to our official social media sites at YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Flickr, Pinterest, and Instagram. The links are in our video description. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next week right here on The Core Report.